In today's video, I'm going over the best playmaking shot creator build in NBA 2K20. This build gets Hall of Fame shooting and defensive badges, so no one's going to know your defensive build on this play shot. This is a very overpowered build and easily one of the best guard builds in NBA 2K20. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, back with another brand new NBA 2K20 build video. And as you heard, I'm going over the playmaking shot creator build with Hall of Fame defensive badges. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500 a couple days ago. The support has been going crazy. Thank you guys so much. Obviously, hit that sub button and don't forget to drop a like on this video. Same for 25 likes on today's best playmaking shot creator build. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. The position is obviously going to be a point guard. I like to go right handed on every single build. And jersey number does not matter. 87 is fine. Doesn't matter at all, obviously. And now for the pie charts. This build is a playmaking shot creator, but it is a sharpshooting Hall of Fame badges and defensive Hall of Fame badges playmaking shot creator. So this is the pie chart I'm going to go with. It is the sharp defensive pie chart. One of the best pie charts in the game, especially for guards. And you can still speed boost and momentum crossover with this pie chart on this build. So I'm going to pick the sharp defense pie chart so we can get sharp shooting and defensive Hall of Fame badges. So click that one right there. And now for the physical profile, this is pretty obvious. You want the most speed on a point guard build. So I'm clearly going to pick the top physical profile, 91 speed and 89 acceleration. There are a couple other good options, but obviously guys, if you are a point guard, you want to be as fast as possible trying to get around screens and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to go with the top physical profile, 91 speed and 89 XL. So make sure to pick the top physical profile. And now for the potentials, we're going to max the first three finishing stats and I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to put close shot down to an 83 right here. We only want four finishing badges. In driving layup, I'm going to go down to a 70 because out of 70, I can still get the long athlete layup package. And honestly, guys, you don't need anything above 70 driving layup to hit layups consistently. And then driving dunk, I'm going to drop in until I can still get four finishing badges. So make sure the driving dunk is at a 76. So close shot 83. Driving layup 70 and driving dunk 76. We have four finishing badges. Now for shooting, max mid range, max three pointer, max free throw, and then max post fade. I'm going to drop the post fade a little bit so we still have 18 shooting badges. So I'm going to drop it down to a 77 so we still have 18 shooting badges. So our shooting should be 81 mid range, 83 pointer, 88 free throw, and 77 post fade. And now for the playmaking, max the pass accuracy, max the ball handling, and then put the post moves up until we get 11 playmaking badges. So our post moves should be a 31. 82 pass accuracy, 78 ball handling, and 31 post moves. And then lastly, you have the defensive badges. You want a max perimeter defense, max lateral, max steal, max defensive rebound, and then put the rest on block. So you get 20 defensive slash rebounding badges. So the final badge count should read 4 finishing, 18 shooting, 11 playmaking, and 20 defensive slash rebounding badges. You can play with it a little bit. You can get 6 finishing badges if you want. But honestly guys, you don't really need finishing badges that much. 4 is plenty. And to be honest, we're going to be running around screens a lot more than going to the rim. So definitely 4 finishing badges, plenty. 18 shooting, plenty, obviously. And 11 playmaking is definitely enough to get all the essential playmaking badges. And 20 defense is obviously plenty of defensive badges. So make sure you set all the potentials just like this. Now under the body shape for guards, I like to go with solid, but obviously it doesn't matter at all. You can literally go anything compact, like I'm just going to go with solid, it doesn't really matter as I said. And then for the height, here's where it gets interesting. You can either go 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3, or even 6 foot 1. Now the benefit of 6 foot 1 is you can speed boost a lot faster and you get 94 speed and 92 acceleration. And 6 foot 2 is pretty good as well. 6 foot 3 is a little bit harder to speed boost, but you do get like better defense for interior and stuff like that. But I'm actually going to go with 6 foot 2. I think that is the best height for this build, a 6 foot 2 play shot. 93 speed, 90 acceleration. Obviously, our ball handling goes up plus 2 to get to an 80, plus 1 for mid range and defensive stats. Honestly, guys, perimeter, lateral, and steel are the most important defensive stats, and they only go up. So that's fine. So 6 foot 2 is definitely the best height. Now, for the weight, we are a point guard, and acceleration is extremely important. We get 95 acceleration and more vertical as well, and even more lateral quickness. So definitely minimize the weight at 165 pounds. Now for the wingspan, this is where it gets interesting. I like to go minimum wingspan on this build, just so I can get 86 ball handling at 99 overall, because then you can get momentum crossovers and the fast quick stops. But if you don't want that, you don't need 86 ball handling. This build can still speed boost without 86 ball handling, but obviously for the full speed boosting package, you want to get 86 ball handling, and at 99 overall, this build can do just that. But if you aren't too worried about momentum crossovers and the fast, fast behind the back quick stop, I would maybe go like medium wingspan or like one tick up because obviously guys this build can still speed boost because you have 93 speed and it takes a combination of 70% speed and 30% ball handling when determining if you can speed boost. But just in my opinion I think the lowest wingspan that you can get plus 2 to ball handling is the best so I'm going to go with 74.9 on the wingspan right here. So at 99 overall we can still get momentum crossovers and quick stops with the behind the back move but it definitely is all preference so I'm just going to go with this but if you want to go minimum if you want to go like medium but I'm going to go with 74.9 right here. And now for the 
the takeovers. This is very, very interesting, and I have a different opinion than most people. So there's lock take, shot take, sharp take, and playmaking takeover. Clearly, you don't want playmaking or shot creating because those just aren't really good takeovers for a sharp shooting and defensive pie chart. But spot up shooter takeover and lockdown takeover are very, very close, and you could really pick either one of them and be very, very effective. I feel like lockdown takeover is better than sharp shooting takeover. Like I think it is a better takeover for the build to be as good as possible. But I'm gonna go with sharp shooting takeover just because this build is gonna be named a playmaking shot creator. And when somebody sees this build in the park, they're not gonna know he's a lockdown play shot because this build is pretty popular right now. But people aren't gonna know it's a lockdown play shot if you have sharp take. If you have lock take, they're gonna know you have Hall of Fame defensive badges. So I think sharp take is better just because people think you have super low defense, they're going to try to attack you more even though you have 20 defensive badges. On lock take, you just expose yourself as having Hall of Fame defense. So I'm going to pick sharp take, also a very very good takeover, but lock take is good obviously. But if you don't really care about people knowing that you have Hall of Fame defensive badges, definitely pick lock take, but as I said guys, I'm going for sharp take so people have no idea that I'm a lockdown. So make sure to pick sharp take, in my opinion it's the best. And boom, we have made the playmaking shot creator build, a lockdown and sharp shooting playmaking shot creator. No one is going to see this build coming, especially with Sharp Take. It is similar to DeJounte Murray, Tim Hardaway, and Stephen Curry. And don't cut anybody out, though. I'm going to show you the best badges to throw on this new defensive play shot. Okay, so for the finishing badges, I recommend to go Gold, Contact Finisher, and then Bronze, Fancy Fork. Contact Finisher is clearly the best finishing badge in the game, and Fancy Fork is great for the hop steps. Make sure to put those two badges on right there. And now for the shooting badges, I recommend Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range, Hall of Fame Hot Zone gold green machine and then gold tireless shooter right there if you do like to shoot fades maybe go silver silver and then silver but honestly most people don't really go for that many fades so for most people i'll go like this i like to shoot a little bit of fades but i think this is the best layout right here i'm a huge fan of tireless shooter badge i get tired all the time my stamina is always super super low so i think gold tireless shooter helps that a ton and clearly the essentials quick draw range and hot zone are must must have shooting badges so i'm gonna go with this layout for the shooting badges now for the playmaking the essentials, obviously. Quick first step, handles for days. I'm gonna go silver unpluckable. And if you are playing with people that can shoot the ball, go floor general or diamond or whatever you like more. But if you are playing with people that cannot shoot the ball, like an inside center or maybe like a big man, I would go with gold bailout. And even then, I'll get bronze bailout. Maybe go like silver floor general, maybe like bronze unpluckable, gold floor general, or gold diamond. It's all preference. But I'm assuming you're playing with like an inside center. If you're playing with like an inside center, silver unpluckable, and then gold bailout, just like that. That's what I do for an inside center. If you're playing with someone that can shoot, I will go bronze bailout, bronze unpluckable, and probably just like diamond, just like that. But you guys can decide for yourself. And lastly, for the defensive badges, Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame intimidator, Hall of Fame pick dodger, bronze interceptor. Hall of Fame Pogo Stick, and we still have three defensive badges left. I think Pickpocket is a great option because we have a great steal rating. Chase Down Artist would not be as effective because our block rating is not as high, but our steal rating is there. So I'm going to put it at Pickpocket. So Hall of Fame Clamps, Intimidator, Pick Dodger, and Pogo Stick, Gold Pickpocket, and Bronze Interceptor. Obviously, if you want to put on like more rebounding badges for me, the twos court, but this is definitely my favorite layout for 20 defensive badges on a guard. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's build video on the Hall of Fame defense and Hall of Fame sharpshooting playmaking track creator in NBA 2K20. And and if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. You guys have been showing a crazy amount of support recently, and I want to thank you guys all for that. Shout out to everyone who's been very active in my comment section. You guys know exactly who you are. And don't forget to drop a like in the video. Same for 25 likes. It helps YouTube recommend the video more and just get more people to see it. Likes help a tremendous amount when deciding if YouTube's going to recommend the video or not. And if you want to watch more of my 2K content, I'm going to leave an end screen right when this video finishes. The two of my previous 2K20 build videos I think you guys would really, really enjoy. Have a great yesterday, guys. It's been Story of Sam, and I am out. Peace.